restitutional overcorrection. The idea, that was ridiculous. Anyway, the <laughs> idea is that if you have a behavior that destroys the environment, you can see our overcorrection video in the positive practice video, and this would be good to discriminate between the two videos by the following example, but we'll go back to talking about the kid tearing apart the desk. If a kid tears apart the desk, you're going to think punishment, you're going to think contention on tearing apart the desk. He now gets to clean up the room or the mess he made from the desk, but if it's um, restitutional overcorrection, he's going to now clean up his desk, maybe he's going to mop the floor, he's going to end up cleaning the walls, he's going to clean the teacher's desk, the neighbor's desk, and maybe he's going to help the janitor for a while, all because he tore his desk apart. The key to restitutional overcorrection is engaging in the behavior that corrects it and additional work.